What's up guys? This is Jay from the Crypto Arc and I got more updates for you regarding um, one of the recent projects that I invested into and one of my favorites right now and, and which is Store Finance and for those of you that are still new to crypto um, Thor Finance is basically like a mutual funds investment kind of and um, with the nodes that I currently have I'm basically earning uh, daily yield now um, the prices that I will talk about today it, it's not it may not repl uh, reflect uh, the same way later on however right now since it's fairly new I'm gonna ride that um, high yield rate so before I get started guys and show you the information I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor so don't take my videos financial advice in any sort of way um, I'm just basically documenting my journey you know so just do your own research as well use whatever information I have here as like your lead and then yeah you gotta do your own digging man because you gotta develop your own conviction towards a certain project especially if you're gonna put your hard-earned money in there all right let's get to the major indicators so the big players are the Fed, so you, you guys want to pay attention to the repo, reverse repo, because uh, this number right here, okay, for the past couple of days, it's been it's been steady around the 1.5 range, okay, but I do foresee this going up, and yes, I think yesterday was 1.52, now it's 1.36, oh, no, 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 yesterday was 1.56, so the difference isn't that much, actually, let me see if I can recent operation what the fuck I shouldn't have clicked that button now it's gonna take long fuck it I'm already here you're gonna have to get through this with me okay never mind my um, my memory serves me wrong and yes we did have an increase from yesterday for some reason, I thought we were at 1.56 yesterday, but you know what? I did say in yesterday's video that you know we were gonna go up in the um, repo, and we did. And to me, that's gonna going to reflect positive in the market. Now, before I show you the crypto market, I'm gonna go through the other indicators. It's very important that you guys pay attention to this one. All right, so the next guy is the dollar index. So now. Um, the time right now is 11 p.m. So we we did have a pump earlier in the morning. So for it to go up, it's going to basically put pressure in the market, which is kind of normal, especially right after you get a pump. You, you do have people, um, you know, taking profits. So the way that this would reflect would be pressure in the market. So you would see some picks like going down a bit. So that's kind of normal. Um, overall, it is fairly steady, steadily going down. Um, but there could be moments where this could spike up again. You never know. Uh, you just got to pay attention to what's happening in the geopolitical environment. What the heck was that? I heard some sort of weird news in the background. I'm getting scared. All right. All right. Crude oil price um, in the negatives right now. So that means it's going to put pressure in the market. All right. Next guy is the 10-year yield. Oh boy. Don't worry guys, I'm going to invest in a new laptop. Uh, so that way you guys don't get this laggy uh, information right now. And yes, my information is uncut, uncircumcised, unedited. So I'm basically raw dog in your ears right now, man. And eyes also with some really good information. So the next guy on the list is the 10 year yield. Um, what the hell? I, I swear I shifted this to the year. What the hell? Oh, all right. Okay. So for the past year, the yield rate has been steadily hovering between like 1.7 to, let's see, 1.1 1. Uh, 1. something. Okay. Now, uh, recently, um, after New Year's, the market did have a um, big pullback. And by big pullback, I mean like 40, 50%. We, we have taken it I have take been taking it like 
fifty to eighty percent before, so this is nothing. This was expected too. Like we were at that part of the market cycle where um, people will be pulling profits somewhere around like Q one, and then uh, tax season comes, which is now, and then uh, yeah, people get their money back, and then they they put in the uh, stock market, and things go up again. Yeah. But anyways, during New Year's, um, the yield rate did go up, so that going up reflected. The way that reflected in the market was that the market pulled back. So you always want to pay attention to these benchmarks, guys, and indicators whenever you're paying attention to the market. So overall, um, just based on the reverse, a bit, uh, slightly pushed it up a bit. Now, even though the dollar index is like high now, slightly in the greens, it did do a dip. Earlier in the morning, it was um, it did go down. Um, so I should have done the video then. But the way I'm seeing it right now is uh, the market is just fairly stable, slight but slightly uh, higher compared to yesterday. And let's take a look. Boom! Look at that. So according to this, yeah, we, we just went up by three percent. Now, like I said, we went up, but not that much. Um, so we can't see by holy crap, Binance just beat Tether again. Remember Tether yesterday was just like on the third, and then. Yeah, fucking Binance just like fucking took their spot. So what that tells me is, um, you know, they pulled other stablecoin um, spot and purchased assets. Now, how much? Not that much. And yeah, you got to pay attention to USDC as well. You see it 44 billion now. Trust me, it's going to be much more. All right, where's the next? The, the third guy. Where the third guy at? All right, Binance. Binance USD. So yeah, see earlier when was in the negatives. Same thing with USDC and USDT. So earlier they were in the negatives, so that means yeah they were buying assets, and then now it's in the positive. So they basically took profits. Now um, are we gonna steadily go up? I I do believe that um, there will be pullbacks in between. So people need to take profits, man. Be, you gotta be realistic when you're playing with the market. And always have your goals too. All right, so I want to talk about Thor. So right now, for the past what day or so, it's been high. So I'm really happy with that price. So I already expected people to take profits, especially with their rewards from their nodes. So this was expected, but overall, it's healthy to see corrections, man. Now is this um, a bit too high? Yeah, I do believe so. Um, if this line right here does not break this, uh, we might go down a little bit. But you know what? If we do go down, that just means it's a better entry price for you if you want to ride this uh, bull. Uh, let me see. Let me show you guys the previous highs. So the previous highs for this one is like 300 sick. No, no, it can't be. That was 400. Uh, you know what? Let's just stick with these numbers. So the previous highs was around like 300 bucks and right now we're still at $80 so to me this is still the bottom and this protocol this team is doing daily updates on this protocol so I'm gonna show you guys that before that okay you know what let's get to the actual news okay okay is it this one is it this one? Oh no 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 wrong Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, that was right. That was right. That was right too. Oh, okay. I can't keep going back and forth. So, Deeks CEO. Oh my God. Crypto Underground is proud to bring. Uh, it's proud to be bringing Thor nodes. So what this? Uh, they're, they're basically gonna do an AMA or um, a chat, a Q and A. My bad. And this is definitely good reason why is because now it's bringing more eyes towards the project and once again guys this is a fairly new project they just they just hit over a month so if you are going to put your money on this just understand it's going to be very volatile and also just understand what they're doing and if you really like the idea of having like a crypto mutual funds thing then yeah definitely do you know do your own digging um and place your bets but remember guys I am not a financial advisor, okay? This is not financial advice. Any sort of way. I'm just entertaining you with some uh, 
uncut <laughs> and circumcised if <laughs> I should have said that wow oh my god anyways uh yeah if you want to take particip if you want to participate in this q and a it is this Saturday, 7 p.m. EST. Um, just follow Twitter, man. No, Twitter will give you very fast information. All right, let me show you guys the updates that's happening right now. So, things to come to Thor. Staking, which is definitely good. I mentioned this in earlier videos. Staking is definitely good because now with the Thor coins, they can basically delegate that and yeah, just earn extra transaction fees. Lottery too, so that that's gonna incentivize people to like hold no. I, I don't know how the lottery thing is gonna work, but I guess it's just going to um affect the node owners. But I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Uh, so you guys are we we're just gonna have to pay attention. But you know what? Every single day they're always doing something, um, which to me is like very in the case that it's a very healthy project. Oh, and NFTs as well. So. The whole entire world, man, is going to be NFT. So don't lose track. Like, really, if you don't fully understand what NFTs are, I don't fully understand what NFTs are, but I know enough to say that a good majority of things that we have right now, like I say, our belongings, our shirts, even tests, like for students in the future, they're going to be doing tests uh, in the metaverse and then. They're going to receive their test as a form of an NFT. I guarantee that. Okay. Remember, you heard that from me. And then, of course, it would use um, protocols like veracity to help verify that the person opening the NFT is an, is an actual human being. Now, that is just my speculative guess based on my understanding of that protocol and my, my understanding of NFTs. Oh, and most importantly, each node will become a tradable NFT that can be sold on the open market, which is definitely good because then that just adds more value to, I mean, like utility for the actual node. It's going to be like uh, the Gala node. For those of you that don't know what Gala is, it's one of those big ecosystem in gaming. So um, their node, I found out last year. And the start, I remember the starting price when I first learned about it was around 3000 Apparently, right now, with that node, the Gala node, I mean, not the Thor node, a Gala node costs around like eighty to to 100000 now. So, like, <laughs> those are fucking crazy games, man. So, like, guys, I'm going to be showing you some uh, gaming uh, cryptos as well. So Now, how that Gala story uh, relates to... Um, the Thor nodes is that these Thor nodes will also go up in price as well because as more uh, Thor nodes, Odin nodes, whatever nodes get sold, the cost to acquire the node goes up. So it just shows the value of it just going up. Like, yeah, fuck it. No, I'm not explaining that a bit further. All right, so strong. Strong is a different project. It's similar to like Thor. I don't know too much about it. I don't want to butcher it, but I do know that there, it's a similar idea. So Strong runs RPC endpoint nodes. These don't produce revenue. Thor runs RPC endpoint nodes. These don't produce revenue. Thor runs validator nodes, produces revenue. And recently we've had two uh, FTM validator nodes and it's in the process of syncing right now um, so once fully sync um, people who have FTM coins can uh, stake it Thor invests into DeFi pro uh, protocols that helps produce uh, produce produce revenue and they also invest in blue chip uh, coins which then produces revenue now another thing I love about this uh, group is that they take recommendations from their audience, their customers. And I'm going to show you guys to verify all of this. All right, so this is Loki right here. He is one of the community managers. So today is the day. As of today, every node will be a real node. We are officially announcing and rolling RPC endpoints to all nodes. Still waiting for validators to sync. Oh, yeah, that's for the FTM thing. So 
or probably this is the uh, RPC. So the endpoints are live now. Let's see. Mm, okay, what else can I talk about here? Let's see here. RPC, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there was something here that I wanted to show you guys. All right, so like if you, if you have a node yourself and you want to set the, set up this RPC thing, the guide's right here. Oh, and one of the benefits to having this is that it makes things faster and cheaper. Where does it say that? Oh, right here. Using the custom RP RPC endpoint, you will get cheaper gas and be able to transact faster on the AVAX blockchain. That's the main benefit. And of course, they did an AMA earlier. So that way, uh, you know, you could be more acquainted with the recent updates and have a little bit more understanding. So that is the, um, the recent announcement. I want to show you guys the other part of their Discord. Uh, I don't think it, I'm going to get in shit for showing, showing this because this is public. Uh, and then, yeah, anyone can join too. So... This is what I love about um, what I call it, this community, is that we can actually put in our ideas and stuff, and they actually take a look at it. So I made one right here. Yeah, this is my name, guys. Being transparent with you, made some recommendations. Um, of course, uh, it was not. They'll get to it, you know. And there's some ideas for the treasury that you can um, add. As well and here are people basically giving their ideas and stuff so this to me is a really good thing because that just shows that you know the, the community too with their ideas have, cares about the project and you know they want to collaborate with the mods and stuff and the development team let's see what else can I show you anything recent about this nope Okay, so yeah, that, that, that's all I wanted to show you guys regarding uh, Thor nodes. Um, so right now, I do believe that I am halfway of acquiring a another Odin. Let me show you guys. FAQ, where is the FAQ? Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that's new. See, even I get surprised. Well, it didn't look like this earlier. How to, where to buy? How does one compound? Oh, wow. Okay, so they just made it, made it a little bit more cleaner. Man, I wanted to show you the, um, what do you call it? The stats. The current stats. Ah, you know what? I'll talk about this. So, the number of nodes, once again, um, has been increasing. So, once again, when, once they hit a certain threshold, the cost to get these nodes is going to go up even higher. Now, pay attention to this. This is just the Thor nodes. There's three other nodes as well. There's the Hindal, which is the lowest one. There's the Freya. And then the, the biggest one out of all of them is the Odin. That's the first one I got first. And that cost me like six to seven grand. So, with the current price right now, guys, um, I did go back. I mean, like the current value right now, especially with a node. Um... I did go back to the original price where I purchased, which was somewhere around here. Now, the thing is, when I purchased it, I only had to use, what, 63 Thor coins. So with the current price now, and the current number of tokens that you need, it's, what, 78. So it's like 15 more Thor. So value-wise, I did, I am more, I, I am in the positive now, especially since, um, I've been using the rewards to create other no mini nodes as well. So overall, very, very positive. And I'm in profits as well. Now, have I pulled out? No, not yet. Because what I plan on doing with that um, profit is, uh, what if I'm going to compound it. I'm not going to sell it, man. Yeah, that's crazy. I want to make more nodes so that way I can make more passive income. That's what I want to achieve, man. Financial freedom. Like, I don't have to go full gung-ho trying to get ROI all the time. That's just crazy. I'm not that much of a fiend. 
I mean, like, I just live within my means, man. So, like, if you want to get in crypto to make some money, have some goals in mind, guys. Don't don't be a pig because if you're a pig, yo, you're going to lose money. You're going to get greedy. And I go through that process quite often. I've been uh, on this game since, what, 2020 when I f found out about it. And then I've gone through a lot of, like, pumps and dumps, man. And this space is very, very volatile, and you guys are going to have to accept that. But if you get through the the crappy phase, because everyone's going to experience a crappy phase in crypto, especially if you're in crypto, all you got to do is just hold on. The reason why it's safe to hold on is because cryptos, like according to Gregor Manorino, are anti-debt units. Okay, So it's not issued by the Fed. But what the Fed can do, what they're doing really is purchase those assets, trying to own it all. So it is very beneficial for you to start learning now, um, especially like following this channel. Because, yo, I only talk about like well-researched projects. Now, this one I'm showing you on a daily basis that I am keeping up with this uh, very, very new project. So even though it's new and risky... I am doing my due diligence to keep up with the project just in case. So that way I understand what is going on, why the price would go down, why it's going up. Okay, so overall this project is, they're making positive moves, man. And now the community, the crypto community is noticing it. They're getting more Q&As from other um, influencers. And it's just going to grow from here. Now, with the current price now, if you can't afford it, I'm just letting you know it's okay because this is just a project on the AVAX uh, protocol. There's a bunch of other protocols out there, guys, and for sure some development team is going to start developing the same idea onto those other protocols. And there is another one that I want to show you guys, but uh, just I want you to understand this one is very, very risky. Now, um, I... From my understanding, this was out before uh, Thor. However, they had a rug pull. Um, they had some like hacking happening, but all of those was fixed. So Thor and this other project, uh, they're actually in. Um, they're talking. So basically, Thor is, you know, helping them out. And I do believe now it is a fork of Thor. Or maybe I'm getting my storyline mixed up or timeline. But anyways, this um, project that I'm going to show you now is fairly cheaper. It is a fork of Thor. And their development teams are talking to each other. Basically, Thor is helping them out. Let me show you guys. Power nodes. Similar idea, man. But they do have uh, different stats and different names. So... Let me show you guys. I could have had an easy 6x. All right, so I was noticing this yesterday, last night, around here. Okay, I woke up this morning, finding out around here. So I'm like, oh, okay. I started. I asked my brother, but he was still asleep. Right when it was about ready, <laughs> it was around here. <laughs> so I did. I did FOMO in, man. Uh, the re my main objective was not to get like the best price. Mine was to just secure the node before it could possibly shoot up even more. Now, I want to show you guys a little something because remember the this project got tanked. However, they're still alive and they're recovering well because of um the help of Thor Finance's team. So as you can see, <laughs> look at that man! It's previous highs was around in the 140s and <laughs> look where it's at now boom so to me this is the bottom man now it might not be like the better bottom like better bottom was around here jeez that was only a couple days ago like what the fuck fucking kidding me that was just like two days ago below below a dollar oh i should have made my move man but anyways guys yo with you know the, the systems they're getting the the evolution that's going to happen with their protocol 
I do believe they're going to touch previous highs again. Uh, they, their ideas, once again, is very similar to Thor, if not exactly the same, because it is a fork. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure about the max supply. I mean, they could have done the same thing and burn supply as well. It's just, it's not fairly developed yet. Even um, the rub site. Let me show you. Oh man, I'm gonna say some say some shit about this project. All right, there we go. The wipe, uh, the website shit project got fucked. But I am putting some money on this. It is a very very big risk, guys. So I'm just letting you know about that. Uh, the only reason why I'm tapping into this because of the whole idea of them uh, partnering with um, Thor Finance and I do trust Thor Finance so I do see some I mean like I foresee some like big things happening to this project but uh, I'm just letting you know if you if you can't risk uh, the money that you have right now do, don't jump into this project I uh, basically just watch some of my other videos and look into the gaming um, projects right now because the demand for gaming is pretty much now, okay? Whereas the DeFi projects, not so much because the whole idea of crypto is not adopted to the point where you go to the street, not streets, um, like let's say the gas station and you want to pay for your gas. You don't go, hey, can I pay with XRP or something instead of uh, my regular dollars? No, they're, they're not going to do that. You're still transacting with like digital dollars right now, the other digital dollars, like fiat money. Oh well, guys. Okay, so this is this is how their website looks like, and if you want to purchase um, the not Thor, the Power Nodes or Power Coins, you go here. So Power is on the Phantom FTM protocol. So as you can see, like I said earlier, uh, there's going to be similar projects on different chains. Thor is on the AVAX protocol. Power node, which is working with Thor, is on the Phantom Protocol. Let me show you guys how it looks like when you open the app. There we go. Okay, I can't even show you the different levels of nodes. Okay, so from my understanding, uh, this thing has four different nodes similar to Thor um, they are microscopic subhuman human and superhuman um, and superhuman I believe is the highest one and think about that one is that you need 50 of the coins that's my current understanding right now so once again, guys, this is a uh, fairly new way. Even my understanding of this project isn't even um, to the point where I can like properly talk about it. It's... And yeah, their Discord is also fucked too, man. They gotta yeah, they gotta update their everything, every damn thing about this. Yep, see, invite invalid. So. You're probably thinking, yo, this guy's retarded. He's going after scams. So, but like I said, it's very, very risky. Okay. But anyways, guys, um, when I find out more information on other nodes, on other chains, uh, I will definitely let you know. But the whole idea of DAS, like DeFi as a service, and Node as a service, like what Thor Finance is doing, it is a, uh, a fairly new concept. So if I do find another one, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, it's going to be a new company as well, new project. So it's risky, but you know, where there's risk, there's also reward. So if you want to, you know, take that risk with me, yeah, you know, join the ride, press that like button, help this channel grow, share it, share my video as well, guys. So that way your friends and family know as well. And also subscribe to my channel so that way you know you, you can you know view other videos as well all right that's all i have when it comes to cryptocurrency now let me show you guys some funny news all right this is back in 2020 scientists believe 
cannabis could help prevent and treat coronavirus. Now, guys, I'm not giving you medical advice or anything, okay? This is just for pure entertainment. So, yeah, you can read this whole thing. So, basically, smoking it is not going to, um, you know, give you the, what do you call it, the uh, immunity. Uh, I'm going to entertain you, you guys with some crazy information. So, the results printed in an online journal preprints indicated hemp extracts high in CBD may help block proteins that provide a gateway for COVID-19 to enter host cells. So this, once again, they had this um, article written in 2020. Now, let me show you a similar article. Why is it showing? In 2022. <laughs> Some marijuana compounds can block coronavirus from entering cells. So... When I saw this morning, I was like, yo, fuck, I'm gonna fucking smoke the spliff. Yeah, I, I, I smoke them daily, man. Fucking love it. So, like, yeah, they, they did say, but smoking marijuana offers no protection against the illness. According to a study by Oregon State University, but who knows, man? There could be another university out there that's doing a similar study that can say, smoking does provide protection. For your cells against COVID-19. Why? Why I do believe this is um can be challenged is that when you are smoking this, it is still going through the airway, right? And when it get gets inside the lungs, it it diffuses into the alveoli and enters the bloodstream. So in a way, you're still getting it. Whatever compounds are present on the uh, the bud the herb can still go inside your bloodstream so that's a that's why even though like you know it is basically saying that you know smoking is not really going to give you that protection i think it's pure baloney man you can, st you can still get it in your system through the lungs now once again this is just uh, from new york post so don't look at it as if it's um a medical advice or anything but they do provide some very interesting information guys so basically the whole idea is um there's a protein that opens a gateway to enter the cells and that is the gateway that the magical covid virus enters and what some hemp compound what they have found is that some hemp compounds prevent that from happening now that's just the mumbo jumbo that they want to entertain us with which i really like you know but and once again, guys, I'm not a doctor or anything, but if you're really interested with this article, what it's saying, you know, definitely look into it. Don't don't just look at New York Post and then look at it, you know. Research around it, man. The whole idea of it. Now, do I believe this whole pandemic thing? No, I don't, I don't man. I don't care what studies they have or like what the media is saying, what the doctors are saying. There's a lot more healthcare providers that are coming out right now, spilling the beans. And for some weird reason, the people that are still for it want to deny the other point of view. It's like they're still at that stage yet where their ego is not open to the idea of like other point of views yet. Which I understand, you know, everyone's been hurt from this whole pandemic, man. Um... Me, however, fuck, I'm having fun, man. Like, <laughs> if you've been in crypto, trust me, you're having fun. Uh, especially if you're held on. Uh, if you're one of those people that bought the top back in April and then crashed, then uh, I don't know. You may be traumatized, but you just got to understand this is a new space. It's going to be very volatile, man. And if you can stomach that pain, trust me, you're going to deserve the reward. Because, guys, this is just a baby uh, industry. we still got a long way to go. We're still waiting for the debt market to implode, to explode. Because what ha what's going to happen, according to Gregor Manorino, which I believe is a major financial advisor on in YouTube, not major or not official financial, I, I don't even know anymore, man. But anyways, he's been getting a lot of the calls right. He understands the general direction where this world is going. According to him, one day, or that day could be soon, could be this year, 
the debt market is going to implode and that that money is not necessarily going to go away and go to money heaven it's just going to move from one place to another and he believes that it's going to be towards commodities and also cryptocurrencies but once again guys those are just speculative guesses okay um it is not necessarily the truth yeah well, the only thing we can do from now is with the current information that we have is just speculate but we've been getting a lot of the things right so for me right now and for those of you guys that are listening yeah stay in the market we still got a long way to go this bull run is not done and remember that is not financial advice okay it's entertainment all right so that that is all i have um I keep you guys updated with a bunch of other projects because, yo, there's a lot of updates happening right now. It's almost on a daily basis. It's crazy. I can't even keep up with every single project right now. Um, so, yeah, if you did enjoy me giving you this unedited information, if you enjoyed me raw dog in your ears, you know, press that like button, man. You know, help this channel grow. We're going we to help this channel grow and also help people understand cryptocurrency. Help share this video, guys. Much love. Later. Oh, wait, that's not... I, I wasn't ending it.